Dr. Baksanisa. Thanks so much for joining us once again. <laughs> Thank you, Algie. So can you talk to us about arthritis? Often when we think of, hear that term, we think of it's it really only affecting the older generation. What exactly is it? I think it's important to understand arthritis is a normal part of life. That's a normal aging process. And specifically arthritis, when we're dealing with joints, arthritis is a condition in where the cartilage or the lining of the joints gradually ages and becomes a little bit thinner or worn. Again, when we look at x-rays and we say there might be arthritis on x-ray, I don't look at it necessarily as evil. It just may be a normal aging phenomenon. What happens is when arthritis gets so severe that it starts affecting our daily lives or starts interfering with our functions or our activities, that's when I think arthritis needs to be managed or sometimes patients seek consultation with specialists to see what uh, what activities or what methods are there to help control the arthritis. And that doesn't necessarily mean surgical joint replacements. There's a lot of conservative things we can do as well to control or manage arthritis. The body takes many uh, attempts to try to stabilize arthritis. Since arthritis is a normal uh, function of life, what we find is that you will see what, what happens that the body does in certain stages of arthritis. When we see some of the milder stages, like this, we find that the joint still stays centralized and there's very thin, minimal thinning of the cartilage. So we still maintain a lot of motion and what you'll find is sometimes you may have a little aching or uh, dull pain in the, in the thumb where it attaches to the, to the wrist. As the arthritis starts uh, advancing, you see the body starts really wearing on the cartilage and we start getting little bone contact where sometimes certain positions of the thumb may uh, provoke that uh, pain where we have a little worn cartilage. And in more severe cases, we have complete loss of the cartilage and it's complete bone on bone. The interesting thing is even with the x-rays that show this advanced arthritis, that doesn't necessarily correlate with the severity of the symptoms. Some patients may experience worse symptoms with less severe uh, x-ray findings and vice versa. Some patients may have this and have absolutely no symptoms at all. So we find that the body is very incredible in its attempts to modify or adapt to arthritis, which is a natural uh, phenomenon of aging. So in terms of your work, do you see m m mostly a younger generation or an older generation? I mean, do people in their, can people in their 30s get there are different arthritis. types of arthritis. Generally, again, the most common arthritis is osteoarthritis, which is a wear and tear or an aging arthritis. Uh, the most common of which that we'll see is basilar joint arthritis or arthritis in the base of the thumb. And that's because we have these uh, opposable thumbs and a lot of mobility in the thumb basilar joint. It's interesting that when we look at women in their fifth and sixth decades of lives, 90% of women will have some form of arthritis in this base of the thumb. So that's a very common presentation. Now when you talk about younger patients, there are other less common presentations such as post-traumatic arthritis or inflammatory arthritis. But I think in the general population, one of the most common types of arthritis we'll see is the generalized osteo or wear and tear arthritis. And what do you do to treat it? Surgery, medicine? Again, it depends on Wear and tear arthritis is something that we see with, with life. That's a normal part of aging. And oftentimes, since that's such a normal part of aging, and 90% of the population, uh, like we talked about with 90% of the women having some radiographic signs of arthritis in the thumb, it doesn't necessarily mean that 90% of the population requires a thumb joint replacement. Oftentimes, the body will even do things to try to stabilize the joint by developing little bone spurs or loss of that cartilage which creates what's called osteophyte and what you'll find is that there will be a little bit less motion at that joint and that's the body's way of stabilizing that joint so it no longer starts rocking with that worn cartilage but it actually starts stabilizing or auto fusing that joint in an attempt to reduce the painful motion at that joint. What we do surgically or th therapeutically or through therapy is to try to help the body adapt to itself, to try to strengthen or stretch the uh, muscles that surround the joints. And only in cases of failure, where we have failed all non-surgical treatments, such as pills or creams or injections or therapy, 
then only then do we actually take and alter the anatomy, such as taking out a bone and replacing it with a tendon or suspending the thumb up, which is a, thumb, a natural type of thumb joint replacement to try to alleviate the pain. Unfortunately, we cannot make a normal thumb, so what we do with surgery, we only look at that as a last resort to mm -hmm. try to do it as a pain relief type option. Mm -hmm. and do you have any advice for someone experiencing arthritis? I think it's important to keep motion, keep moving. Uh, it's arthritis is something that happens to everyone at every point in time, and I think to sit on the couch and basically say I'm doomed and to be a couch potato is the wrong uh, attitude. What we find is oftentimes by using the hand or using warm moist heat or doing activities to try to get through that, we'll find that the the pain will often take care of itself or sometimes we'll do activities such as um, uh, cortisone inject injections or therapy such as ultrasound or various types of modalities to help alleviate that painful inflammation because it may be a short-term flare and when we can get the ba body back down to baseline, we can also uh, do certain types of things to avoid activities that provoke the pain. Perfect example is I see patients that do a lot of pruning and gardening and you find that when you grab the pruning shears and pinch really tightly, that puts a lot of pressure on this joint. There are actually ergonomic shears that the uh, no Arthritis way. Foundation has come in, con uh, in conjunction with the gardening uh, gardeners that have special shears that will close the tips without having to close the handles all the way. And Thank that you. concludes our episode on arthritis. And that's a wrap from NeuroLab. See you next time.